is a stab nation so today we're reviewing the iphone 16 pro max you hear me there i said it by the way big ups and a lot of love to my last um video i did on the iphone 16 pro max i did an unboxing and that video is doing super well it's my for, for the first time actually reviewing tech and stuff like that i appreciate love the love you guys giving me keep the love up you know what i'm saying um today for sure for sure i have the full review today as you can see in the thumbnail as you can see in the title i have a lot to uncover um with this iphone no jokes i've been using this iphone for at least a week and a half now almost two weeks and there's a lot of stuff i love about it more than a lot of stuff that i don't really like about it as you can see the samsung right here i have the samsung take a back side of the samsung I have, I have the samsung right here because i have some comparison i want to make that bro by the end of the day tab nation objectively there's some stuff that's inside here i wish it would be inside here that this is objectively in terms of like most things you just want to get done is a bit better than the iphone and also i have a comparison video coming up soon i'm talking about how samsung basically destroy i'm this specific samsung s24 destroy the iphone 16 pro max or any pro maxes um we're going to do a comparison a quick comparison um versus the 16 pro max and the 15 pro max gonna give you like a difference it's not too much of a difference but if you're a person who knows tech you love technology and stuff like that you will see differences you will notice differences but if you're an average user not much difference you see what i'm saying so you dig what i'm saying so this year where we have um 6.9 inch display so you have a much bigger display this year and the iphone 16 pro max versus last year um 15 pro max which was 6.7 inch so that's like a two inches bump you got the super retina xdr display and you got the promotion technology with always um display on and the greatest thing about this iphone too it goes all the way down to one nit meaning like you, you get a much dimmer screen so the screen go from i think it's i don't remember the brightness but the brightness is like almost 1600 nits or something like that and then whenever it goes like super low it can go all the way down to one nit where it saves you a lot of battery and that's very great for always on display performance that's for the display the chip this year gets an upgrade and i personally see a lot of difference in the, the chipset like all right i don't want to sound too biased i don't want to sound biased at all it's not like i see a lot bro i'm a tech head okay so what i see versus what um a average person would see is you know what i mean it's debatable but i've seen some improvements in the chip but this year we have the a18 pro chip it's a six core cpu six core gpu and a 16 core neutral engine and i think it's on three nanometer or three nanometer three three <laughs> me jesus versus the a17 chip pro which is in the iphone 15 pro max also a six core cpu and a six core gpu 16 core neutral engine so you're literally getting just a a, a chip bump in the new pro max um, this year um as i said before it's a dope phone uppity phone we're gonna get there and as i said i have a lot of stuff to show you what i do not like about the iphones and i'm talking iphones in general comparing with android or samsung specifically because i've been using the samsung s24 for the past year and i'm telling the tab nation jump and i've gone cursor we're gonna save that for the middle or the last of the video me jesus but anyways let's go ahead let's keep it pushing anyways boy yeah great phone overall i'm not gonna lie great 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 phone overall okay so the camera the camera we can talk a lot about the camera this year i've seen some improvement in the camera a lot of improvement the apple call it the fusion camera so we're going to compare it with the 15 pro max camera so basically we're housing on the 16 pro max a 48 megapixel megapixel me jesus a 48 megapixel fusion camera 
a 48 megapixel ultra wide camera which is that's their most brand new camera that they have now and we got a five um a, a what a five telephoto something like that camera some shit like that man i'm not the best tech head i just know enough about tech to get vex so anyways yes yeah, so it's a 48 megapixel um ultra wide camera that's brand new on the iphone which takes uppity outstanding pictures you dig what i'm saying and that's versus the 15 pro max which is a 48 megapixel a regular ultra wide camera and a telephoto lens which is the five times them that i was telling the guys about in the last video which can shoot it can shoot up to five times or zoom up to five times which is basically an optical zoom so not much separating the 15 pro max and the 16 pro max but I am going to delve into some stuff that I like about the 16 Pro Max very soon. We just want to get overall, let you guys know about the newest things that complement the 16 Pro Max. All right, but we're talking about the the new camera. Where's that? The action button. I already kept my own the action button. My dumbass. The camera. I'll get this. I got them way. The camera button. Or they call it the camera control button. Still is a button, um, Apple. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I have mixed feelings with this button. I have a lot of mixed feelings with this button. Um, it's great. It's, it's, it's a great, put it this way. It is a great addition to the phone, but not in the best way Apple trying to present it. Like, if Apple had just re released this button where you can literally... What you can say, you can literally, um, you know, like when you have a DSLR, for example, I have my camera, for example. So you have this right here. So this is what Apple basically trying to mimic. This, this, this button right here on the camera. So this basically lock focus on your subject and make sure that your, your subject is in frame so you can go and snap it and take a picture. However, Apple claims that that's coming to the iPhone very soon. And this is one of the main reasons they added it. Because most of the features that Apple added to that camera control button, I am not going to lie. Me kind of see it redundant when you can actually go in your goddamn phone, right? I'm going to open it. Go to your camera. And then you can literally toggle the different settings right here, which is super fast. This is a bit too finicky for me sometimes. You dig what I'm saying? But I'm not going to lie, man. Not being by a stab nation, I love the camera control button. Me nah lie. The thing up it. It's just that up to can just do so much fucking better, man. It's like, like, it, but then again, then again, you have to understand. Whenever a company introduced something, it's a bit early. You remember when them just dropped cinematic mode and it took its time? People say, yo, why they didn't put it in 4K or whatever? I hear two years pass. No, you can do cinematic mode in 4K. You dig what I'm saying? So, there's a lot of stuff that Apple has a lot of promising on, including Apple AI, which is simply, or Apple Intelligence, which is simply AI. Them just basically brand them name or they brand yourself within AI, as of every single phone company like Google and um, Samsung, you name them, you know. But let's go ahead. I, um, apparently, the 16 Pro Max, it can go up to 33 hours of video playback versus the 15 pro max which is up to 29 hours of video playback both support usb-c up to three for up to up to three bumbo clam i can't chat to the tablet so basically they, they support up to three gigahertz per with the speed in terms of like you get a but faster transfer when they're transferring files and stuff like that not many trans not many people transfer um files and shit like that through them phones nowadays anyways but at least you know now that you can literally you have a computer that's faster than your typical computer in your hand palm you know what I'm saying? let's keep it going it's compatible with magsafe it has okay we're gonna break down the display the display this year so as i said before it has a bigger display how is it a bigger display it's a 6.9 inch diagonal all screen oled display and all the technology basically is it makes darker, it makes colors a bit more poppy, it makes red look more red, it makes black look more black, it makes blue. You, you, you get where I'm going with it? Yes. And it still has the dynamic island, which I still have a little issue with it when I'm going to compare it with the Samsung, what I love about the Samsung. Just give me a minute, we'll get in there. Um, 
It has an HDR display. What else? What else we can talk about? You see, it's not fucking much I can really talk about, bro. It's the same goddamn phone, but it just gotten incremental improvements that I personally, as an enthusiast, a power user, I consider myself a power user, I've seen a lot of improvements in terms of how I interact with the phone. The battery, for example, the battery itself is wonderful in terms of like maintaining heat. I think they have this new thing where they add to the battery or they, have, they add over the battery. I think it's some type of like metal shit where it basically just make the iPhone a bit much cooler. Even in when the place is a bit like hot and the place heated a bit, it definitely cool at Tab Nation. Me feel a lot of bumble clad difference with this shit. It's so dope. Like it's surprising how cool the iPhones have gotten in terms of like even in hot conditions because usually it performs very poorly whenever you have you, you basically could use your iphone as like a, you know when people they're on fireside whenever it gets super hot yeah i saw it go on me jesus okay so the size of this phone is 6.42 uh no fuck me chat here me jesus so the height is 6.42 inches which is 163 millimeter with 3.06 inches which is 7.6 millimeter and yes i was right up to 1600 nits of peak brightness um and then 2000 nits of brightness out outdoors they so get 2000 nits of brightness when you're outside like in direct direct sunlight i get 1600 nits of peak brightness overall like if you're inside your house your room whatever the case may be no, I'm not going to talk about Apple intelligence because it hasn't released as yet. So there's nothing for me and I'm not the most techiest person. I just love tech. I'm going to watch that bullshit because people can learn something from me. By the way, if you are watching this video, please make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, tell a friend to tell a friend and tell some family. Me Jesus. Splash and water and dust resistance. Um, rated at IP68. Very similar to um, last year's... Um, iPhone 15 Pro Max. As I said, it's not much to differentiate both phones. And I would not recommend that upgrade for a person who uses a 15 Pro Max, honestly. Um, because you're not seeing that much, especially if you're not a power user or an average user. If you're not excited about the camera control button, um, the new ultra wide camera, what is that? The big, the slightly bigger display. If you're not really excited about stuff like that. I would say not upgrade yet, but hold on, hold on, don't just leave yet. I'm going to give you guys a breakdown of why I think you guys can up upgrade and why you shouldn't upgrade, if you get what I'm saying. I'm going to kind of try and meet you guys in the middle. Let's keep it going, let's keep it going, me Jesus, me Jesus. But yeah, portrait lighting effect, it's a portrait lighting effect. So video recording, you can get up to... 4K Dolby Vision video recording at 24 FPS, 25 FPS, 30 FPS, up to 60 frames per second. And you have a new mode and it's called slow motion where you can shoot 4K up to 120 um, frames per second, meaning you can get slower videos um, and it look a bit more cinematic, shit like that. You know what I mean? Just up it stuff like that. No, now talk about the form, the, 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 the factor, the form factor of the phone. The 16 Pro Max, I love the new titanium feel this year. It's the same titanium, but it's, it feels a bit more brush and polish. It's so fucking, like, I love holding this phone, basically, Tab Nation. I love holding this phone. It's so comfortable in the hands. So comfortable in the hand, them. Me, Jesus, it feels so great. Me can't. Like, you want to try it? Try it, try it, try it. Come, feel it. Feel it? You got All right. I'm telling right? What I tell you? Really, really nice feeling phone. Um, as I said, the chipset, the chip is a really fast chip. And would I be recommending this chip for the average user? As, again, as I said again, no. But a power user like me, a person who shoots a lot of content, you want something that you can put in a pocket to be a bit more convenient. Um, in terms of shooting videos or shooting photos and stuff like that, bro, it's a no-brainer. I'm not going to lie. It's an uppity phone. It's an incremental upgrade. Apple know what they're doing. Apple just want it in their ecosystem. It really doesn't matter what type of iPhones you buy. But if you buy an iPhone from Apple, regardless of the type, they have already have you in that iOS ecosystem. 
and that's how Apple really ba basically make their money. Now let's talk about the camera a little bit. So the camera tab nation uppity. And what I mean uppity, I've seen drastic improvements. Even though you hear me mention about the camera earlier, for me personally, in terms of just the simple details, in terms of like, cause when I take certain self selfies or I take like pictures from the mirror, I take pictures of like um, nature, any little thing, you can see subtle upgrades that I personally like in the in the pictures. And, and as you can see on the screen right now, you have different photographic styles. So that's how you see different, different styles. I think you got rose gold, you got gold, you got fucking neutral, you got uh, standard, which is just the regular um thing. So as you can see, while while you you what you're listening to my big, big what the fuck, Tabnation, help me please. I mean, even know me I right now. That's why I love me love this tech review thing, cause you just I just want to be myself and just chat about some tech, bro. I ain't trying to be the techiest guy around. You see me, but it's up pity. But anyways, um, the, these ones too, the uh, it doesn't come with a physical sim. It's e sim, and you basically just go to your setting. I can show you. Go to your setting. You want to go to your setting and then you go to cellular and then you can basically add your eSIM. You dig what I'm saying? You can add your eSIM or whatever. So, yeah, so that's what it is. eSIM compatible. You don't can use a physical SIM in it. Uh, what else may I, what else may I miss? What else may I miss, Tab Nation? Tell me no man, Tab Nation, help me no man. Wait, tell me what I'm going to talk about yet. What minute talk about yet? But anyways, I can get the new 16 Pro Maxes in black, titanium, white, titanium, gold. <laughs> I say gold, titanium because that shit look gold, bro. Just, Apple, just be honest. That's a rose gold. Not desert titanium. Desert no look like that. That's a rose gold, titanium. But, um, you know, whatever. Desert titanium. And one of my favorite, and I'm not going to lie, I might get that one in the Pro. The iPhone 16 Pro, the, the smaller version, 6.1 inch, I might get that in the white version, bro. The white variant, sexy as fuck. It's sexy just like the black one, you know. But I think I cover most of the stuff them do. I'm not going to lie. Like, what is to really talk about the iPhone 16 Pro Max? Not much. I just have some camera testing come. Oh, but yeah, that's the 16 Pro Max um, review so far. Like, you know what I mean? Not much, but it's okay for the 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 power user and it's it's not really an upgrade for the average user anyways we're going to jump to the samsung right and this is one of the number one thing i love about the bumble clad samsung that i just do not like about this iphone first and foremost apple why can't you simply do this look how simple this is in any app more some more i'll go on spotify right and more I'll play some music Mm? Bro, mm? come on, Apple, Apple, mm? look at this shit, Apple, 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 hold on, let me play, hold on, let me see if I can find a video real quick, watch out, Apple, why can't you do this, be honest with me, mm? Stop, Apple, I can't do this, Apple, why can't do this, multitasking, that's something, Tab Nation, that bothers me a lot about iPhones overall, I always have to have a Samsung or a Android phone in rotation because it does so much stuff better than the iPhone. I don't want to give you guys too, too much because I'm going to do like a literal. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. I'm going to do a comparison versus the, the, the S24 versus the 16 Pro Max. Don't get me wrong. The 16 Pro Max is still a better phone overall. But there's a lot of stuff that the Samsung Galaxy... S24 does way better than the iPhone 16 Pro Max. And that's just objective. Not no subjective topic or anything. It's factual, you know. But it has a frosted um, glass back with a shiny little Apple logo. And um, that's it, Tab Nation. I don't have nothing more to say. That's the 16 Pro Max review. Dope. But there's just some stuff. Um, Samsung. Anything I'm going to catch in this video, I'm going to watch about the video. So if this video posts, that means I'm going to like it. If we did a post, well, you wouldn't know because more would like it. I'm going to make a new video tomorrow. But anyways, I'm going to give you guys my two cents. And should you buy the 16 Pro Max? And this is, I'm going to give you a couple breakdown of why I think you should and why, and why I think you shouldn't. So listen to me keenly. 
I think you should buy the 16 Pro Max if you're somebody like me who is a phone enthusiast, if you love technology, I use a power user, and you just like the latest and the greatest. Even though you don't technically need the latest and the greatest if you have the 15 Pro Max as a power user, but it's always great to see where technology going and the fun stuff you can do, how super fast the new chips them always are. Cause I'm not gonna lie, you definitely see some difference with the new chips them Tab Nation. I'm not gonna lie, you see some really great difference in um, the improvement. The 120 hertz um, refresh rate display screen where shit just move fluid and fast. Um, and you just want to live your one more clock life. You, you have one fucking life to live. You work hard. I guarantee I know you guys work hard. I know you guys work so fucking hard for your money, right? Am I lying? And then you feel like you want to upgrade for every year? Do your shit, brother. Nobody not stop it, bro. Upgrade and, and live your life. You know what I'm saying? I love that. I love when people just live their life. I, I believe in that 100%. Now, for the average user, do you need to upgrade to this shit? Hell fucking no. It's a dope up the phone. When you, if you have a 12 Pro Max, I'm going to be honest with you, as an average user, you do not need to upgrade. You know, but I love tech and I want to talk about more stuff. I'm recording this video right now on the iPhone SE, believe it or not. And I'm going to talk about the Samsung Galaxy very soon. And there's a lot of shit to come. Do you need to upgrade? If you're a power user, you want an actual camera versus an actual camera in your hand. This makes call, text and everything. Plus you can do what this do. Not exactly what it does. Because it's a camera, obviously, a phone. But having this in your pocket. And you can do things close to this. Think about that, bro.